Today on Jack's Tracks, we look at my visit to Double Decker Records in Allentown, Pennsylvania. Album reviews, record hauls, and vinyl crates again at Jack's Tracks Records. Hello and welcome to Jack's Tracks Records. I am Jack and today we are looking at my visit to Double Decker Records in Allentown, Pennsylvania. This is an absolutely awesome record store. The prices are a bit on the high side in like the rock country section, but they have an absolutely awesome $2 bargain bin section, which I got a ton of records from. So yeah, I'm going to roll the clip from the car. All right, we are on our way to Double Decker Records. This is in Allentown, Pennsylvania. It's a bit of it's a bit of a long drive. It's two hours away from my house, but I am very excited to go. And yeah. All right, so a lot of you know that I pay the least amount of money possible for records. So I'm always trying to trade stuff in, whether that's books, I don't know, records, CDs, DVDs. I'm always trying to pay at the least amount possible for records that I would like. So I picked around maybe 15 records that I'm not giving enough spins in my collection and they really just don't have much of a place in my record collection. So here is the first record. So right here we have um, Greg Allman laid back. I'm a huge fan of the Allman Brothers. I really like the album Eat a Peach, but this one I'm just not as into. So we have Greg's, Greg Allman's laid back. Next we have Jeff Beck, Blow by Blow. I have three Jeff Beck albums, now two. Um, this was my least favorite among the three, so here is Jeff Beck's Blow by Blow. Next we have Marshall Tucker's Long Hard Ride. I have a ton of Marshall Tucker. This one is just not my favorite album by them, so we have Marshall Tucker's Long Hard Ride. Next we have Chicago, I think 11. I have a bunch of Chicago. I have one compilation that's really, really good, so I didn't really need this one in the collection. Next we have The Pretenders. I am not the biggest fan of The Pretenders. The one song that's like okay by them is Back on the Chain Gang, which I have on a 45, so I really didn't need this one. Next we have Atlanta Rhythm Section, Champagne Jam. I have Atlanta Rhythm Section live, and I really don't like this album. All right, I'm going to kind of do the next one rapid fire because, I mean, I don't really need these in my collection. I don't really listen to them as much, so those are the reasons for all of these. So we have Shauna Na, The Golden Age of Rock and Roll, Rare Earth, One World, Neil Diamond, Live at the Greek, Best of Loggins and Manissa, Messa, Messino, I can't pronounce it. Joe Jackson, Night and Day, Expose, and this Harry Nelson record, Son of Schmelzen. Schmelzen. <laughs> like I mentioned on my Spin Me Round video, I try to pay the least amount of money possible for my records. So I brought along these um, stereo speakers. I, I don't think they're going to give me too much money for it, but I found them in my storage room and they were just kind of causing clutter. So maybe they'll give me, they buy um, stereo gear, so maybe they'll give me some money for these stereo speakers. awesome record store again the prices were a bit on the high side besides that absolutely awesome uh, two dollar bargain bin section so I'm gonna go through some of my finds and I do have quite a few so let's get right into it all right the first record we have actually I'm gonna save this one for last because this is probably my favorite find of the day 
So the first one we have is Foreigner's Double Vision. I have a ton of Foreigner records, but I really wanted Double Vision, and this was $2. I have the Beach Boys Greatest Hits. I don't have any Beach Boys on vinyl, so I was really stoked to get this one. Surf and Safari is an absolutely awesome song that I used to have on CD as like a four-year-old, so I'm really excited I could pick this one up for $2. Next, I have more of the monkeys. I don't have any monkeys on vinyl, and this is definitely one to start start my collection with. I'm a Believer is an absolutely awesome song. So yeah, we have the more, more of the monkeys for $2. Next, we have London Town by Wings. The only Wings record that I own is Band on the Run, so I'm very excited to pick that I picked this one up, again, for $2. Next, we have Steve Perry's Street Talk. This is, of course, the lead singer of Journey's solo album. And I like the Journey stuff a lot better than this, obviously, but it's still a good album for $2. Next, we have Days of the Future Past by The Moody Blues. A lot of people talk about this record being an awesome record, so I def I've never heard it, but I definitely wanted to check it out for $2. Next, we have Santana's first album, which is absolutely awesome. Probably my favorite Santana record is the first one with the awesome cover. Next, we have <laughs> John Lennon and Yoko Ono, Double Fantasy. This is actually a really good album, but I definitely love to collect Yoko Ono records. I talked about it in my Top 5 Worst Albums video. I will leave the link in the description below. But I included two of her records, but this one is actually half decent because it has John Lennon on it. So, we have Double Fantasy by John Lennon for $2. And then we have the two most expensive ones that weren't out of the $2 section. This is Billy Idol, Rebel Yell. This is my favorite album by Billy Idol, and I didn't own it. And it is on limited edition colored vinyl, so I will show that here. And I paid $22.98 for it, but I see that's kind of the going um, medium price on Discogs. I think it is $22.99, so I, I saved that one penny. Um, yeah, so the inner sleeve, and then it's on, so I can get it out, on red vinyl, which absolutely looks great. Transparent red vinyl. For some reason, I feel like colored vinyl is always hard to get out of the inner sleeve. I don't know if that's just a coincidence that the only two colored vinyl records I have, Meat Loaf's Bad Out of Hell and this one, but tell me what you think in the comments below. I don't know. And then my favorite find from Double Decker Records. This is absolutely awesome. This is the uh, one Rush record. I Not one Rush record. I need a couple more. But this is one of them I don't already own. And I'm so excited to add this one to the collection. It's Rush Caress of Steel on 200 gram vinyl. I've never owned any records on 200 gram. I've only owned 180 gram. But this is definitely the one to start out with. It's an absolutely awesome record that I absolutely love. And it is on 200 gram of vinyl. So I'm very, very excited that I picked this one up. All right, that concludes this episode of Jack Tracks. Tell me if you have ever been to Double Decker Records. It's an absolutely awesome store that I would recommend to anyone that lives near the area of Allentown, Pennsylvania. Thanks so much for watching this episode of Jack Tracks Records. Hello and welcome to Jack's Trap. <laughs>